Let's face it, ladies and gentlemen. Some people on the internet can't tell the truth if their lives depend upon it. So today I want to give you the absolute truth on where is Lori Vallow today now that she has been sentenced and her court case is actually done with. Lori Vallow, ladies and gentlemen, is in Pocatello, Idaho. Yes, and that is how you pronounce it, Pocatello. She is at the Women's Corrections Center there in Pocatello, Idaho. And she will remain there until her evaluation, her risk assessment is completed. How long does this take? Generally, it takes about 14 days, but can take up to as much as four months. Four months, yeah. And what goes into a risk assessment and evaluation for a new inmate who has been transferred to the Department of Corrections in the state of Idaho? They go over her mental health state, her physical needs, her risk assessment for herself and for other inmates who may be around her. They also go over her flight risk. You know, is she a risk to want to escape from a correction center wherever she is sent? All of this goes in and gives her a risk assessment score. She is not in Rexburg. She is not in any of the other jails or institutions in a state that so many people seem to be confused about. Or, well, how should I put this? They're out and out lying to you about where she is. If, if, don't take my word for it. How about that? How about you just go to East Idaho News and check Nate Easton's video that he did this past week on the same exact thing. He even interviewed the, you know, the lady who is in charge of the Women's Correction Center there. Again, Lori Vallow is in Pocatello, Idaho. When it comes to the extradition of her to Arizona, that will take place once the risk assessment is done. Because they would have to do the same thing when, once she gets there and if she's sentenced in Idaho, in, in Arizona, I mean. So, they must do the risk assessment and then the state of Arizona, if they're going to extradite her back, they say they're going to. They have every intention of extraditing her back to Arizona to stand trial. They will do it then. But, right now, she's in Pocatello, Idaho. I will link Nate Easton's actual video for with East Idaho News in the description of this video. So, don't just take my word for it. Trust the actual facts and people who actually research and do the work. Thank you for joining me today. You have a terrific rest of your week.